What is going on, Wolfpack Nation? Welcome back to another Tuffy Talk episode, y'all, as we are rolling here today with a little bit more of a fun, I guess, layout here. Not necessarily topic-based or focus-based, but kind of debate-based. And uh, we basically, just to kind of give a little bit of background, uh, so today on our Discord, uh, which if you're a non-member of, make sure to either send a tweet out to us or DM us or whatever, and we'll send you the link. Uh, and you can join absolutely for free. But we basically said, well, what are some fun to de debate topics that you would love to see us discuss, debate, talk about? And I uh, had a couple get submitted. And I also kind of sprinkled in a little bit of, uh, of my own, maybe I thought would be some fun to de debate topics as well. Uh, some are NC State based, some are North Carolina, like the state of North Carolina based. Uh, and again, we'll just, you know, have some fun with this one. So again, much more laid back as again, we're, you know, I, I think everything has been said about men's basketball, women's basketball, like, you know, like we all know where we stand right now. And w I, I think we all kind of came to, came to an agreement that I think we could take a, a week off to have a little bit of fun, lay back a little bit, and then just let the rest of, you know, rest of these teams just kind of play itself out a little are, bit. Are we still going to end up being negative? That's my question. I mean... <laughs> so not to that, not to the level you're thinking, not not to the level we have been. Let's put the yes, no. There, there is no uh, Keats. Uh, there is no hot seat conversations. Uh, Got gotcha. you uh, in this in this uh, debate topic. But um, maybe we'll get put right. in the hot seat to answer the question. But but I, no one is getting fired after this episode. Is what you're saying? Yes, I, okay. I'd agree with that approach. I'd agree with that approach. <laughs> okay. So uh, so with that being said, uh, we kind of we were chatting a little bit beforehand, and it kind of hinted right into this debate, which is. If I had to give you the choice and I said you have to do one of these two things, and that is either sit through tw the 2019 NC State Virginia Tech men's basketball game or sit through the 2023 NC State versus Duke football game, which would you force yourself to sit through? And, uh, uh, Michael, I want to hear your thoughts first. You kind of already shared a little bit about it on the Discord. So, um, ooh. Okay, clarifying question. Do do we know the future, or or are you just Correct. transplanted black, back into it? No, you know that's going to absolutely suck. Yes, okay. we know the results <laughs> going into <laughs> it. Is what you're saying? You know it's going to suck so bad. Yes, but like after that, like the rest of the season. Oh, if so or just the, that game? No, 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 just that game. And, and just okay. for a little bit of context, actually, I want to yeah. give you a little context. So, oh. so do for anyone that doesn't know. For anyone that doesn't games. know, yes, and <laughs> yeah, hasn't yeah. had those games just cemented in your head with a hot iron, like uh, so. With football, State lost to Duke twenty-four to three. Keeping in mind, those three points came after a negative one yard drive, <laughs> and was the first drive of the game, and we didn't score a single point after that, or the forty-seven to twenty-four basketball game. Which, keep in mind. It's not football. That's basketball. 47-24 final of Virginia Tech over NC State and PNC Arena in 2019. So, craziness. All right, Michael, go. Yes. So, so once again, okay. it's literally the season does not matter, but just you have to go relive that moment. Yeah. I, I think I have to go basketball. Um, hmm. When you just, – just putting it in the context of – Basketball, one game doesn't mean as much as one game means in football. And at that point, our outlook on football season was, are we even going to make a bowl? Right. <laughs> I, um, yeah. Yeah, I'll have to go basketball. Yeah. Greg, what do you got? So I'm going basketball for a different reason. Okay. Because if you remember that Duke game, we only scored three points, but it was in a driving rain. Whereas basketball is indoors, and um, – if I'm going to be miserable, I'd rather be dry and miserable than wet and miserable after losing a game. Yeah, true. <laughs> so, uh, but man, but to, to think about in perspective for our football season, how many times did we score 24 points this year in football? <laughs> uh, well, that was Multiple always your times. number. Well, that yeah, that and that was your number. So yeah, 24 points. Yeah, so. for sure. So, yeah. but yeah, what about you? So for me, all right. So so I'm at, I actually even before you guys even talked, already had decided, and I'm sticking with it that I would have rather sit through the football game more because with basketball, it's so like 
unprecedented. Like it, it was yeah. so disgusting. Like there was no explanation for it. Again, we shot nine for fifty four. We shot two <laughs> for twenty eight from three. Yeah, but you got to witness like, a record. It was awful. Yeah. Well, okay, but again, <laughs> the record the opposite way, which is awful. Like, and and again, it's still something to this day that when you talk about he who will not be named on this fun episode, that that this game comes up. Like this game, unfortunately, as of so far, is defining a little bit of that coach's, you know, like his 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 resume right now as NC State coach. So I mean, and I still remember sitting up in the stands and with with Macon actually, and dude, I'm oh, I I literally would have rather watched paint dry. Like it was awful. So yeah, here's the other thing that becomes a running joke, right? Like you don't, I don't think you're gonna, I don't think three points against Duke's gonna become a running joke in the future. Right. No. Yeah, nobody's gonna no. blink an eye at it. Seriously, yeah. Yeah. I I, gar- I guarantee you in five years uh, they'll be like, oh yeah, that's right, we lost to Duke. That's right. Yeah. But I mean. Especially with how the season played out, but yeah, yeah I mean, like, because yeah. again, there there wasn't anything defining by it. Mm-hmm. Like, it sucked, but yeah. it wasn't defining. But but that men's basketball game, that's defining. I, is it still a record? Like, it it has I to don't be. Know. I, I, I know it was I mean, the like, lowest probably in like modern. Correct. Basketball. Yeah, it was the modern shot clock era. It was the lowest yeah. score. Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if it's been broken. Uh, one could only hope, but. Um, <laughs> I mean, like, literally, every single time NC State and Virginia Tech brutal. ever play yeah. for the next 20 years in basketball, State fans are going to think about this game. I like, think my grandkids will be talking talk. about it. Oh, totally. But it'll I mean, it'll I, get passed on from generation to generation to generation. Yeah. No, it's, it's it's you know, like, like they, they ask the big boom, you know, the, the baby boomers, like, where were you during the Great War? Yeah. They're going to ask us, State <laughs> where fans. were you on, well, what it was the date? The, in, in December of 2019, like, where were you? Uh, on that day, and we're going to say we were watching the most and that was awful a, ba- college basketball game of all time. And, and what made it worse was it was a home game. Like, it, it would be different yeah. if it was a road game and, like, state fans weren't there to witness it in person. And even though Virginia Tech sucked, it actually wasn't close. Again, they beat us by 23 points. Like, yeah. so, so They so almost beat was, us by as many as we scored. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Like, like it, was, <laughs> it, was, it was bad, it wasn't competitive, and it was at yeah. home. It yeah. was awful. Yeah. So yeah, just just mm, mm, yeah. Just so we all got to the same thing. Up. Well, no, you said football. You ended oh. up going with football. Oh, someone yeah, didn't pay the bill. <laughs> 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 anyway, uh, yes. So yes, y'all with uh, football and, and uh, well, y'all would rather sit the basketball game, yeah, and yeah. I would rather sit through the football game. Yes. yes. All right. Cool. All right. Next one here. A little bit of a fun one. This actually got brought up. Uh, so, Eastern. Or Western barbecue, North Carolina barbecue. So tomato or vinegar based barbecue. Greg, I know you sport you 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 you've, you've smoked a lot of butts in your days, my man. I do like so, pork butts, and I cannot lie. That's right. <laughs> so Eastern or Western barbecue? It's not even close. Like it's okay. it's like Eastern. What was yeah. the other one? <laughs> there is no other one. It's Eastern. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, Michael, would you agree with that? Yeah. I'm, I'm Eastern all the way. I love yeah. the, the vinegar. Yeah. Uh, well, and, and so, yeah. I mean, I definitely agree that, that like, having that vinegar base mm-hmm. to it is is awesome for sure. And yeah, I like it with a little bit extra, like, uh, red pepper flake and a little bit of extra hot sauce in there. Uh, I mm-hmm. like it with a little kick. I don't like just plain vinegar barbecue. I want a little zippy oh, zip, yeah. zippity doo da. I yeah. like it when the – when you – when you're, if you're doing a sandwich, when the bun is just sopping wet, yes, with, with the vinegar, that's yes. the best. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yes. Now, now for me, I like to add a little bit of my separate sauce uh, on top of my barbecue sauce, but, but I got to have that vinegar base for sure. Uh, now, again, I mean, if if, it, if it's a good barbecue with that vinegar, then I mean, you know, I mean, I'm I'm not going to touch a beautiful, you know, you know, prime set of barbecue here. But then day, I mean. I can't imagine having a tomato or ketchup base. Like okay, that's... so let's take the conversation a little step forward because that was pretty quick. Yeah. All right, so Michael said bun. Are, are we pro bun, no bun, depending on how your mood is feeling? I'm so, always bun. He, he, here's my thing is that, like, so, well, and I guess we can even go a step further. Oh, I'm, I'm going to go was... the step forward. You talking about coleslaw? Is that where you were going next? No, no, oh. no. But, 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 um, like, so, 
like one of my one of my my favorite barbecue uh, spot in the Raleigh area is Old Time Barbecue. Mm-hmm. Love Old Time Barbecue. Yep. Have gone there literally since I was four or five years old. Gone there a long time. And, uh, like, dude, like, their barbecue sandwich. I always get a barbecue sandwich with double okra. And their okra. Oh, Wait, like okra on the side, not on the sandwich. No, 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 no. Yeah, fried okay, okra. Okay, yeah, double right. okra on the side. I was like, wait, wait, yeah, wait. Yeah. We're going to have to have a serious conversation if you're <laughs> no, putting no, no, okra no, no, on no. your barbecue. Double okra on the side. <laughs> on oh. the sandwich. No, so, no, 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 So, no. So back to yeah. the other question. Coleslaw on the sandwich or not on the sandwich? On the side. On no. the side for me. Yeah. Michael? On the side. Oh, I like mine on the sandwich. No. See for I'll me, maybe I, I, maybe a little bit, maybe just like take. Yeah, yeah, I'm not talking food. like a pound of coleslaw on there, yeah. like just a, a little hint of coleslaw. I, I like the little crunch in it. Give little, it a little I, texture. I, I don't, I don't like warm coleslaw. No, I, it's I like cold. It cold. Yeah, cold coleslaw. But you're putting cold coleslaw on on hot barbecue like that. Yes, I mean that's just no. That's no. What? Because all of a sudden it's going to become warm because the barbecue is hot. No, you got to have it. texture. Like good food has texture, so like there's no texture to barbecue. Flavor. Give me flavor, man. Mm. Flavor. All right, we're gonna have to. We're flavor gonna. Wins. We're disagreeing on another flavor topic. Flavor versus then. texture is another debate. Yeah. Yeah. That is another. Well, one. flavor yeah. always first, but you could have yeah. flavor and texture. Yeah. Well, exactly. Exactly. But kind of on that thing. So I mentioned old time. What? What's y'all's favorite barbecue joint in the Raleigh area? And and no sponsors by the. They're not sponsors. <laughs> <You're> right. <probably. laughs> I, I old so, time's good. Yeah. I have not been to Old Time. I, I hear a lot of people say good things about it. Oh. I am a barbecue snob. I don't eat barbecue out a lot. Yeah. Dude. Because I make it so good. And here's yeah. the, here's my thing with barbecue. And, and, and you know this, Leighton, um, having, you know, you guys make it all the time too. For what it costs for a pork butt, if you get it at the right price, it's a, it's a cheap cut of meat. And for them to charge me $10, $12 for a barbecue sandwich when I can get it, you know, barbecue for – a dollar fifty, dollar seventy five a pound. You know, it, it's mm-hmm. it, it hurts my heart to yeah. to spend that much money for a barbecue sandwich. And then and then I can know I know I know I can make it just as good, if not better. Before we continue, I want to take a quick second to tell you about our sponsor, Flatlands Dress Up Insurance Group, that has our whole world covered, with agents in five offices throughout Eastern North Carolina to help you decide how much coverage you need. Offering policies for home and auto, recreational vehicles, commercial, crop, health, life, and employee benefits. They are able to combine options to find a comprehensive solution that works for you. Flatlands Jessa protects the things you love so you can spend less time wearing and more time enjoying them. Find them on Facebook and Instagram at Flatlands Jessup. You can also visit their webpage at www.flatlandsjessup.com. So please make sure to go and check them out. Well, yeah. and, and, and the reason why I say that like this is how you know it's a great barbecue place is because it's the exact same. Like it, the Literally, all of the... Like the stuff on the wall, all the decorations are exactly the same as they were twenty years ago. Yeah, and it's this all little hole. It, it's this little hole in the wall place. Yeah. like like it can't like a good barbecue place isn't big. Yeah. Like a great barbecue place is a small little place because you know that it's a a small family run business. Yeah, they're off and ridge, right? Is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm sure everybody it goes on. I think, You know what? I I. I pledge right now to both you and our fans. Next time I'm in Raleigh in a couple of weeks, I will go try All it. All the time, it is phenomenal. And I, I will, I, I will guarantee uh, it. I'll take a picture and tag us. So, yes, thank you, thank you. Yes, <laughs> all right, good deal. All righty, got uh, two more uh, here for this part. All right, so once and for all, we talked about this already, but somebody asked us to debate it, but we've already debated this. Is it GIF or JIF? Really? I pro- I just. <sighs> I don't know. Michael, I mean, like, are we don't talking... debate it. This is supposed to be an easy one. No, no, no. I, th- I right, think right, I say so... both sometimes. I'll all just right. say whatever comes out of my mouth. All right, all right. Is 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 the picture that 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 shows a little clip that repeats with no volume? Is that a GIF or is that a GIF? I don't know. And, all right, all right, Michael. I think I'll say both. GIF, I'll... GIF is peanut butter. GIF, it's. GIF man, it, it, it GIF is a peanut butter, but it's also called a GIF. GIF. When the oh when God. the creator of it calls it a GIF, that's what you call it. <laughs> when you create something, you get to name it, and then therefore it has to be referenced as that. Like GIF. you're the inventor. If if I invented the cup, and you say this is a a, a toboggan, like you don't get to change the name of it. That's what it is. Well, all I know is that literally I have two different keyboards for GIFs. And then one is called Giffy, and one is called Jif, 
or GIF, GIF keyboard. It's G. So you literally just said the same thing. One just has a different name because they can't call it the same thing. <laughs> but it's so but, you're making but my case them. for me. I think I, I think I lean Jeff. I think I lean Jeff. Yeah. <laughs> All right. It was cool. Yeah. That this this is nowhere near the top of the hill I would die on. Let's put it <laughs> right. I, do not, I do not care one way or another, but I think it's hilarious how much people some people do care about. It does that. Set like, put people on full tilt though. It does. It does. I'm like, okay, like cool. Yeah. So yeah. Alrighty. Uh so talking a little bit here, uh Let's do a football one because we have also another football one, which we'll do for the second part. So uh, is 2024, as of right now, the 2024 NC State football team or the 2017 NC State football team the most talented roster Doran has had? Talented. All right, so I'm going to have to get a lifeline and look this up because I'm trying to remember everybody on that team. So give me. So on 2017, you had Chubb, Contavious Street, Justin Jones, and BJ Hill. You had uh, on the offense side, you had Ryan Finley, you had Naeem Hines, you had Stephon Lewis, uh, Calvin Harmon, Jacoby Myers, you had uh, Garrett Bradbury, Tyrone Prescott, Tyler Jones, Will Richardson, Jay Sam. That team was definitely older. The team was definitely older. And stupid talented. Yeah. Like, like yeah. That team should have done more. I don't know. I think <laughs> it'll be an easier question to answer after the season, but <laughs> Well, but 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 well, again, like cause, cause on paper, I on paper, on paper I talent think wise. The twenty twenty four team should be more talented, yes. But talented. You really think I, so? Yeah. You think there's so are we equating talent to and NFL draft prospects? Well, no, because it's funny because we do have two first round draft picks on that 2017 team, and Bradley Chubb and Garrett Bradbury. So, mm-hmm. uh, uh, yeah. So, I mean, I do agree. It is a tough conversation. I feel like Tooney wasn't on that team. No, that was after Tooney. Has he been in the league that long? Yeah. Wow, he has been yeah. that long. Yes, he's he's won three Super Bowls. Yeah, <laughs> three or four Super Bowls. Yeah, he's he's that dude, that dude's got a ring case. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I mean, like. More of what I'm saying is like, dude, wide receivers alone, like you're stupid, stupid, stupid deep. Running back, you got three deep easily. Yeah. I mean, quarterback, I mean, should be, I mean, he's underrated. Defensive side, you're bringing a lot of guys to have Van back, you know. Uh, hey, so, Mike. I mean. The, Man, James Smith Williams was on that team too. Yeah. yeah. So, so I, I kind of lean 2017. But on paper, though, man, like, mm, 2024 is going to be so good in terms of talent, in terms of depth. <laughs> Bryson so, Spees was on that team. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, uh, yeah. And, and I, I think a lot of it, too, like, to be fair to 2024, is that we don't know the full I'll say like, the kicking depth. game wasn't as strong. Uh, no. Wow. All right, Greg. <laughs> we done brought that up. Yeah. Uh, so. I mean, yeah. I would say you, you want to kick my dog, but it would be wide right. So. Um, oh, wow. I uh, love it. It's tough. Man. I love um, it, Greg. Man. Yeah. I think well, I got to go with the 2017 team. Right. Well, because here, let's put it this way. Talent-wise, yeah. like kind of do like a quick like this or that, like like quickly answer. So So, like. So D line wise, twenty seventeen wins. Yeah, right? No doubt, yeah. no doubt yeah. about it. Linebackers: Jared Fernandez, Arius Moore versus Jermaine Pratt uh, was on that team. Yeah, Gerard Jermaine Fernandez. Pratt, and then and then versus uh, Caden Fordham. That linebackers uh, win. Twenty seventeen linebackers yeah, win. I think so. Barely, yeah. It wasn't the most overly gray linebacker core. Now defensive back, twenty twenty four. Yeah. I mean, day. I guess because I mean, you have guys like Isaiah Moore was, was on that team, but he didn't play a lot because he was a freshman. Correct. So yeah, no, he he was he was not much. But again, moving on defensive back wise, yeah, twenty twenty four, twenty twenty four without a doubt, all day, all day. Sean Brown, right. Aiden White. Yeah, no. Yeah. Uh, and then on the offensive side, offensive line. That's, that's I tough. don't know. I mean, I I, I know you. you, you no, you got to go. You got to go. Twenty seventeen because you had Tony Adams, Will Richardson, Okay. Okay. Garrett Bradbury. 
I, I, I'm leaning 2017 because I, I think Skullford. we know more of what we have. Yeah, Skullthorpe didn't really – he was a uh, – yeah, yeah but, Big T. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's like yeah. it's hard. But, but but 24, though, we'll see. We'll see. To be determined. But, yeah, a little bit of 2017 uh, right now. Quarterback and then, is uh, definitely 2017. Right now. I think so. But, again, to be, I think a little bit more to yeah. be determined on that, too. Running back-wise – I think it's 2017 with 2017 Tim and, Naeem and, and Naeem Hines. Hines. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Though, uh, though, though, there's a lot of you know we don't know what Hollywood's going to be because he really hasn't had a lot of college time. Mm-hmm. And um, I mean, Waters can be easily a thousand yard rusher. Waters can, uh, and and, yeah. and and Raphael has shown glimpses of of you know some some talent there. So, yeah. But we still got Duke Scott too, who's yeah. going to be involved too. Yeah. So, yeah. I, I, the thing is, is there's more knowns and uh, more knowns with 2017. There's just too many unknowns for 2024. Correct. So at this point, you have to give yeah. it to 2017. Now the real question comes to why receivers. In my opinion, 2024. Like I mean, like like it just now again. I, yeah, I, I'll, I'll, full, again. I'll fully say Kelvin Harmon. Yes, that dude. That dude was was, was was great. Jacoby Myers ended up being by far the best wide receiver, <laughs> yeah. and we didn't even know it. And Stefan, I mean, Stefan's my boy. He was in my wedding, and so I mean, I mean, that guy. I mean, he's like he was consistent. But the fact that I mean, I could look at Keenan Jackson, who was a four star, one of the top wide receivers in the country, going to be a freshman. Look at him as like my fifth or sixth wide receiver. You did have two generous. freshmen on that team. Who? And Mecca, oh, and Mecca. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Ooh, man. <laughs> He's like, oh, like you, Greg. Dang you. All right, all right. So I, I, th- I think overall the consensus is 2017, but we, uh, yeah. we could, we could revisit think... this and like, nah. Yeah, yeah, yeah because, because I mean, 20, 2017 team was just older. I, they were yeah. just older. They were yeah. more what you got with them. Yeah. yeah, I think there's a lot of upstart talent, or you know. Mm. Um, you know, with with the Noah Rogers, with you know, um, who are some of the freshmen? Paler and Anderson. Like, there's talent there. They just have not been proven at the college level yet, and so Agreed. it's kind of hard to make some of these decisions. So, yeah, we didn't even mention Paler too. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there's a ton of talent on this 2024 team. Um, yeah. Yeah. I definitely would like to revisit this 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 topic this time next year. Agreed. All right, Warpack Nation, with that being said, we're going to take a quick pause right there, and we're going to end part one right there. But uh, I want to go ahead and give a heads up, though. If you haven't seen it already, we are doing a stupid big giveaway, y'all. Like, we are literally giving away seven sets of two tickets to men's basketball, women's basketball, wrestling, baseball, a combination of all a four A generous sports. donor donated those. A generous donor, absolutely. A very <laughs> generous, very good-looking donor, indeed. Yes. Uh, and also, too, we're giving away a... A uh, appearance on a tough future toughy talk episode day to be determined, and we're giving away a mini Dave Dorn signed helmet. So, like again, we have nine different things we're giving away, and all you have to do to enter is uh, if you click in in the link below, it takes to the tweet where we're doing the giveaway. All you have to do is retweet that tweet, sign up for Savage Wolves using the link also in that tweet. Minimum uh, which ten dollars a month. Is on- Ten dollars a month, y'all. Ten dollars a month, right there. And literally within your, uh, if you win one of these prizes, that that easily covers the value of pretty just, close, yeah, a, pre, pretty pre, pretty close to a year alone. So, um, so make sure to go and do that, and then make sure to comment your name and your hometown, so that way Savage Wolves can confirm that you're a member, and then you are officially entered into our amazing giveaway, y'all. So once again, make sure to hit that link below, follow the rules for it. Enter in to get to be a possible winner for one of the nine prizes, and the winner will be selected on January 29th on our Tuffy Talk live show. So, uh, with that being said, Wolfpack Nation, we will see y'all for part two and go pack, y'all. We'll see y'all.